Hello and welcome to our third video on Unity and C Sharp. And on this video, we're going to talk about variables. And so you might say, what is a variable? Well, a variable is a holding place in memory uh, to keep a value that can change. Like, let me give you an example. Here I am on a camera. That's my camera object that I have in my scene somewhere. There he is. I'm going to go back to console here. And if I click on camera and I come over here to the um, inspector panel, I see I can uh, the position of the camera. I can change. Right now the X position is at zero, but I can change it to like 33 if I want. So I change the value of where the camera was located. So he's probably located in a different place. Yeah, he's over here now. So I can vary this value. I can vary the Y value. I can vary the Z value, and the computer remembers uh, what it is that I put in. So that's the essence of what a variable is. It's a holding place in memory to hold a value. And in games, I'm always using variables, like, for example, a player's health or something like that. Uh, I'm going to create a new script. So if I go to camera and I look down here in the inspector window, if I still have that old script that we did from last time, this one here, if I still have that attached to the camera, I can come right down here at the bottom where it says um, my script script and I can just get rid of it. I can click on it and I can remove the component. So I'll just have uh, the new script that I put in. So what I want to do is I want to right click here and I want to create a new C sharp script and I'll put it here um, my um, variable. You can actually name it anything you want as long as I found it's not a uh, reserved word used by C Sharp. We'll talk about that. If I always start the names of my uh, C Sharp programs with the lowercase my, the, I'm always safe. And of course in the name in the names that you choose for your programs, um, try not to put any spaces in them. So I'm going to double click on this to open it. And there we are with our old start type of thing. And what I want to do is just to check and make sure I'm OK, I'm going to put print. And I'm going to make a variable about a player's health. Uh, player, A-Y-E-R, health. Player's health is equal to, and I'm just going to do that, close parentheses and put the semicolon there. So the only thing that's going to happen now is it'll print out player's health and it's not going to have any value. But we'll, we'll uh, see how to put a value in there so it can be a variable. And then I come over here and I'm going to try it, but I have to attach it to the camera. So I'm going to take it and drag it because remember, I have to have it on an object in the hierarchy in my scene. So let me check and see if um, my variable is there. So I'm going to come down here and there it is, my variable. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. And it now says the player's health equals. Um, and so I got it. it. It works. I got a few warning messages there, but don't worry about that for now. We'll talk about warning messages later on. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this, uh, my variable. And I'm actually going to put a variable in my start. And what I have to do is I have to do what I call it's called uh, declaring a variable and I started off with the type that I want to use the type I want to use int is an integer and we'll talk about what what data types uh, mean and then I'm going to talk about uh, I'm going to put in the variable identifier I'm going to put my health and I'm going to put what it's equal to. I'm going to initialize it. Let's make my health equal to 100. And then I'm going to put uh, a semicolon after it. Now what I can do is I can come down here and I can put another print statement. And then I can put in the value I have for my health. My H-E-A-L-T-H. -E now, in this case, notice for the print statement, I didn't put quotation marks around my health. Because my health is now a location in the computer's memory that holds the value of 100. So 
let's just see uh, what happens when I go ahead and, and, and make this work. I'm coming over here and I'm going to go like that and I get uh, player health equals 100. So it does work. I don't have any problems yet. But let's see, uh, let's see what I've got here. What I've got here, this whole thing, is where I have uh, declared the variable right here. That's called the variable declaration. What the first thing I must have is I must have the data type, and there's many different data types. An INT is a reserved word in C sharp. That means this is going to be an integer. It means it's always going to be a whole number like 100 or 99 or 89 or anything that's a whole number as long as it's at a decimal point. My health is a variable identifier. It identifies the memory location where these values are going to be stored. Now, a, the variable identifier must begin with a letter or an underscore. Okay, that's important. And the variable identifier must not have any spaces in it. And it can only contain alphanumeric characters. Okay, in other words, I can have my nine health, but I can't start it off with the number nine. Okay, uh, and the variable names are case sensitive. Like my health lowercase my is would be a different variable from uppercase my health. Okay, and then I initialized it or I set it to a value. So anytime you, you declare a variable, set it to some kind of value. So in this case, I made my health equal to 100. And notice where I put the variable declaration. I put it inside uh, the uh, start function. Okay, so let's say I change this now. And let's say I change this to uh, a, a uh, my health is now going down. Let's say it's an 88. So therefore, this should now print out 88 because I initialized it up here to 88. So let's see. Let's go ahead and give it a try. We'll save it. We'll close it. And then we'll go ahead and run it and see what we get now. Player health equals 88. Okay, so that was our introduction to uh, variables in um, uh, using C Sharp in Unity. And then uh, in our next video, we'll talk more about variables and how we can have it uh, keep other values for our different players and characters. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.